Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. Hey everyone, it's your host here, Paladin Hansen, back at it again with another video, another Bible review, and another one. And this time we're going to be going over this amazing Bible, if it can zoom in here, if it doesn't want to track my face, this amazing Bible from local church Bible publishers of a super giant print Bible. I mean an 18 point size font. This is the largest font I've ever seen in a Bible. And so we're going to be going over it today. I highly recommend you pick one up at local church Bible publishers website. But before, you know, we, you know, do anything, let's look at it first. So I want you guys to explore with me this amazing Bible I've had for quite some time and uh, see if you want to pick one up yourself. So without further ado, let's get to it on the desktop. Here's the 165 super giant print text from local church Bible publishers. This is not to, com to uh, be confused with church Bible publishers, but from local church Bible publishers. This is a super giant print, probably one of the biggest Bibles I have. Of course, it's in an authorized King James version. And there's about 2,764 pages with this big big hunk of a Bible. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five raised spine hubs or spine ribs, however you like to call it. And this is one big Bible. Let me show you guys the uh, the gilding on this Bible. It comes with two black ribbons, but also look at that gilding. Some fantastic gold gilding. It's not art gilded. So you're just going to have to do that yourself, but pretty neat Bible. One of my largest Bibles I have in my collection, probably if not my largest or second largest Bible. I have a J.P. Green one volume Hebrew Greek interlinear set, so this is uh, right up there with terms of being a huge Bible. So this is a 165 super giant print text. This Bible is in a natural cowhide and it's got a synthetic liner with a natural cowhide cover. And let me guys show you the, the wrinkling on this. As you guys can see, let me try to get that focused in a little more on the camera. But as you guys can see, there's the little bit of grain. It's mostly very smooth. There's not too much texture on this. It's a very smooth, natural cowhide. Now get a load of this. The font size for this Bible right here is an 18 point size font. Let me open up to you just to a random part of the Bible. Here we are in Ezra. You guys can get an idea here. This is just a massive, a massive Bible print. I don't have a Bible that has a print larger than this. This is my largest print. Well, it's not just a large print. It's a giant print, a super giant print. And this truly is a super giant print Bible. I mean, the words, the letters themselves are like the size of a Tic Tac. It's, it's, quite, it's quite impressive. I mean, this is my largest print, definitely meant for the desk, for studying at home, for reading at pleasure and stuff like that, or at your own leisure. Definitely meant for being at home and reading at your own le leisure. Here's Psalm 146. You can get an idea here. This is just a huge Bible. Now the words of Christ are not in red. This is all a black letter text. So that's kind of how I prefer it because that's how all Bibles were. And um, you know, I really like this Bible. And so uh, it's nice because you know, I'm far-sighted, and so it, I have trouble reading up close, so I have to wear glasses for anything when I read. This right here, the print is so large. I mean, it's super giant, 18-point size font um, that I don't need glasses at all. I can read this just fine without glasses. And so this is truly a blessing to have if you uh, decide to pick up this Bible from local church Bible publishers. As far as I'm aware, they're the only company that makes such a great quality Bible with a large, well, I keep saying large, a super giant print. You know, it's just super nice. And <laughs> it's fantastic to see this. And 
Let me just scroll through some of these pages here. You guys can get an idea. I'll zoom in just a little more if I can. But you can get an idea here. Here we are in Acts, Romans, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. And here's the opening up right to the 2 Corinthians right here. But you, get, you can get an idea that this is a very, very nice Bible. The uh, There's no partialized printing in the text. Uh, the paper is very smooth. Uh, there's a little bit of bleed through and I noticed that it's not lined match. So it's not lined match at all. But still it's very nice. I'm not that nitpicky with everything. Um, but this is a, an incredibly nice Bible. And I've never seen a, a company make a Bible this large and be just so useful. I mean, 18 point size font, that is absolutely amazing. But the only thing is that with this giant Bible, it has two measly ribbons, <laughs> two little ribbons. There should be at least four or five ribbons with this Bible because it is absolutely just huge. I mean, we're talking about over 2,700 pages. I think the exact amount of pages is 2,764 pages with this huge Bible. So again, uh, you know, there's no self-pronouncing text. There's no translators to the reader. There's not even an epistle dedicatory with this Bible uh, as well. Um, there's no words of Christ in red, there's no concordance, no Bible dictionary, no maps. There's not even maps in this Bible. Uh, but the really the selling point for this Bible and why I recommend you guys to get it is that it has an 18, uh, an 18 point size font. I mean this is just re ridiculous. It's a, it's a giant font. And of course the, the leather is a basic natural cowhide leather. Um, I'm on their website right now and let me just show you guys. $77. I think that's quite biblical. <laughs> but uh, you got those sevens going on so it's 77 bucks but what they're gonna get you on is shipping, right? So the shipping is gonna cost you like 20 bucks but it's gonna cost so it's gonna round up to around a hundred and dollars. And there's about 100, 120 plus left in stock, so get them while you can. Uh, because I remember b trying to buy this and they were out one time. So this is, a, again, just an absolutely massive piece. I mean, the leather that went into this is ridiculous. So, <laughs> again, uh, uh, quite impressive. So there's no notes, no maps, 18 point size font, natural cowhide. It's... Uh, it's quite a large Bible. When it's opened, you know, when it's opened up, let me get it out. When it's opened up here, here we are to 1 Samuel. From the width, from, from the left to the right, the right to the left, is around 17 inches in width opened up. And it's 9.75 inches in length. So almost 10 inches, uh, nine, nine and three quarters to 17 inches in width and then 9.75 inches in length. That is impressive. And of course, when we close the Bible, right, just normally like this, you're dealing with it closed at 9.75 inches in length, 7.75 inches in width, and then you're dealing with an in, uh, uh, a thickness of about of about an inch and a half thick, or actually more than an inch and a half thick, more like 1.75 inches thick. I'm going off of the sources that they have here in local church Bible publishers website. Now for margins here, this is definitely not a wide margin. I think it's about a quarter of an inch, 0.25 inches. Uh, from the margin space. So guys, this is not really a, a Bible you take notes with. This is just a Bible that 
You know, if you have bad eyesight, you, you, you have trouble reading most Bibles because the print is too small. Well, first off, you should probably get a pair of cheap Foster Grant reading glasses or something similar around that, that line. But, you know, what's incredible is that if you got bad eyesight like me, you know, you're farsighted and you can't see up close then you don't even need glasses for this and that is what is so amazing with this uh, with this other ministry of local church bible publishers and what's great is they practically sell these at cost you know they probably recoup a little bit at shipping but other than that they don't really make a profit all too much on these bibles they want you to get a king james bible in your hands they want you to have an authorized version of the english scriptures in your hands and if you have bad eyesight well, they got you covered with this super giant print, 18 point size font. I, I do not have a Bible that is larger than this font. I mean, it is it is quite impressive. And so I just wanted to scroll through some of the pages here of the Bible just to get you guys an idea. Like if you guys are watching this on video, you guys can probably see the lettering just fine. I'm not even zooming in really. Let me actually, let me, let me zoom in just a little more so you guys can see but you know here we are in the gospel saint mark saint luke and continuing on to saint john as you can see no red letter here's the axe just an impressive book impressive bible to say the least and it takes you all the way let me get Oh, opened up right to Philemon. But let me take you. Here's Hebrews. Here's Revelation. Let me get to the end of the Bible here. Oop. Kind of hard doing it with one hand. Let me get to the end of the Bible here. So there we are at the end. You can see the last word is Amen. But notice it's just a few more pages. Oop, that's a little bit of a wrinkle. I didn't notice that. I was probably on my own accord. So after you reach the end of the Bible, there is no notes, there is no maps. It's just a few pages of cardstock. And there you go. The end of the Bible for this edition from local church Bible publishers. Just fantastic. And again, one, two, three, four, five raised spine hubs or spine ribs, whatever you want to call it. And I find this Bible to just be magnificent and it's quite exquisite and, you know, one of a kind. I don't think you're, there is another publisher that makes a Bible this large of a font size. So the only thing I would do to add to this Bible is that in the future I plan on adding a uh, like three or four more ribbons because this Bible can definitely take up the space and need that amount of ribbons when you're dealing with over 2,700 pages of text here, pages of the Holy Scriptures. So very cool, very neat. And let me uh, just get this closer up to the camera here so you guys can get an idea of this leather. Very smooth leather, right? You can barely see a grain, but very neat, very useful. Here you guys can kind of see a grain right there at the top of the Bible. So without further ado, we're going to close off here with this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this massive, super giant print Bible, King James Bible from local church Bible publishers. And I hope you guys check them out. They're a great ministry as well, right up there with church Bible publishers, uh, just doing great work for the people. So. <laughs> I hope you guys check them out. Now I'm going to end off again with Psalm 23. I've actually memorized this scripture in my heart. So without further ado, let's finish this video off again with Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness, for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. 
Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So, you can't really beat that, guys. If you want to memorize the King James Bible, if you want to memorize the Bible, you should probably pick up a King James. It's the best in English. You can't beat the elegant prose that you find in the authorized version of the English Scriptures. And if you really want to, to you know, put your mark down, you know, start memorizing in Hebrew and in Greek to, uh, to really start learning and, and it's even more beautiful in those languages so i hope you guys enjoyed to god be the glory to god be the praise and we'll see you guys in the next one